Right, I was challenged to share an old school tech tool as part of this new tech vlog. And what we're going to be talking about today is Padlet. So Padlet is a really great way to get a whole bunch of input from a lot of different people in a simple format that has a lot of actual, a lot of flexibility. So I'm going to start by logging into my account and I always too, but I always want them to log in with Google. That kind of simplifies that whole process and makes it easier. Then once we get signed in, and I just put my information in there, we're going to be all set. All right, so I'm logged in and you see on my front page, I have my dashboard. I can see old Padlets that I have right here. Uh, we can take a look at some activity attachments, collaborators, settings. I'm just going to go up here to this new button and create a new Padlet real quick. Now we got a couple of different formats that we can use here. We can use a wall, which is going to kind of organize things if you're really type A and you want to make sure that everything is lined up in a grid uh, in, a, in a good way, then that's one way to do it. Uh, if you do a canvas, this is going to be a lot of fun because, uh, and that's personally what I really enjoy uh, using, is it allows you to kind of arrange things non-linearly. So kind of think of post-it notes all over on a sticky note or on a, on a wall or a whiteboard or something like that. So you can put those all over the place. Uh, stream is going to give you in a... Um, a stream is going to give you in time-based format, so the, the most recent post always goes up to the top, and you just new ones come in, and they just push, them, push everything else down. Uh, grid is going to put everything in rows of boxes, and then the shelf is a new one. That's pretty sweet. Uh, the, the shelf will put things into columns, so you can use this as a sorting activity, or uh, you know if you're doing a KWL chart or something like that. Uh, so lots of flexibility in the ways that we can do these. I'm going to open up a canvas, and I'm going to create this. So, so here in my canvas, I am going to, um, I am going to show, I'm going to uh, change uh, some of the settings on this right away. So I'm just going to call this vlog sample. And uh, we're just going to say that this was made with big dreams because it totally was. Uh, you can do things like change your uh, change the different backgrounds or things like that if you want to. You can also upload your own if you'd like. Personally, I like the blueprint background because, you know, it's just awesome. Uh, then we can also do a few other things with this. Um, if you have a premium account, you can change your themes. I never do that. Uh, because, you know, no big deal. I do like to put in the attribution, especially when I'm working with uh, with an open, a public uh, kind of a Padlet like this. That way, if they're signed in, I can know who uh, made the contribution. Uh, you can also turn comments on or off, and you can also turn on reactions. I'm going to keep those off for right now, uh, but that's another way to do this. Then I'm also going to give this a name. So I'm going to call this November 17 vlog. And uh, anybody is going to be able to, anybody is going to be able to go out there and see this. So we're going to keep that there. I think that looks like it's all good. Click on the next button. Then I can set my privacy. So if I set this as secret, that means that people who know the uh, people who know the address can type it in and go to it. So if you go to padlet.com slash J.A. Schmidt slash November 17 vlog, you're going to be able to come in here and make comments. So I'm going to do that uh, and we'll see what kinds of things you guys come up with. Uh, we're going to give you a writing access, and then I can also directly add contributors. So if I want levels of permissions, that'll certainly be in there as well. Uh, we can have people remake, so that gives them the opportunity, gives people the opportunity to make a copy of it and use it for their own stuff. And then I can also turn moderation on before my posts are published. If I turn that on, then obviously um, you'll have to approve all of the comments that are made before they get out there. Finally, we click next and we start posting. Now here's where it gets to be really fun. So on um, this canvas, I double click, I give my, uh, give my post a title, um, some title, and we can then write something that goes along with this. So what are your favorite tools for getting student input? And then you also have the option, you can attach files. So I can add an attachment um, from the web. I can upload a file. I can take a picture from my webcam. I'm going to do that one right now. So I've got to give it permission. 
I'm going to do this. I'm going to say, and we'll give that a little bit of time to process. And it should be OK. Yeah, hey, that looks great. I'm going to click OK. And now it goes in. So other collaborators can come in here, and they'll see this come up in real time. Um, I can move these things around on the page and sort things and make them all look real nice. Now if I want to go back in and change any of my settings, I can click on my gear right up here. And you see I've got all of those different settings that I had before. I can make those changes if I would like to. Um, that's all going to be available in there as well. <clears throat> Finally, you can uh, you can have other actions that go along with this. So if I like it, I can put a heart on it, I can remake it, I can invite more people. Uh, the sharing or embedding is also very neat. Uh, gives people an opportunity to share the work that they do and uh, see what your see what your students uh, can make from that. So my challenge to you guys is to tell me what are some of your tools, your favorite tools for getting student input. You know, this is one of those tools where if I open it up and uh, lots of people can access this and they can get at it. Um, I can get multiple ideas from multiple people. We can put in pictures, videos, links, whatever. Uh, what do you guys use to get uh, input from your students?